All right, guys, coming down to the very end of the 007 job. Red-headed stepchild. Customer asked me to flow everything all together, each port. A lot of extra work. Let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm probably going to do this in uh, two different halves because I've only gotten uh, the driver's head done. So the driver's head is done. It's marked. The valves have been marked that are going on to each cylinder. Every cylinder is tested with the valve that it's going to be run with. There are a couple of valves that I wasn't thrilled with how the, the, the valve seat sat on the, the valve. So one or two of them I had to touch the upper cut or the lower cut and make them just right. So that means on a couple of valves the pattern is a little wider than I would like. Other than that, all good. Okay, we're going to go number one to number three. Okay, so what do we get with our 202 Ferreira back cut the way it came from the factory? This is what we have. Okay. Same, same deal. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's the head. That's the bare head. And then we're going to do the TPI intake. And then we're going to do the exhaust, and over here in the corner, we're going to do the exhaust with a pipe. So, let's compare apples to apples. We'll use uh, number one as our baseline, because we did a lot of work on number one. See if uh, the other ones came up to the same speed.
sorry guys, I didn't realize I was running as I'm trying to figure out what to do next. <sighs> Pause button, gotta love it. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go number three verse number five. So this is further down the planet. Let me put some pluses and minuses on it. I'm sure I'll get a lot of flack for this video, but I don't know anyone who's ever done a comparison like this and then threw a very hard to equalize intake manifold like a TPI. Just just saying. Okay, so we're going to go again from number three to number five. How do we do these pluses and minuses in reference to this? Minus, plus, minus, 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 but still extremely close, right? 269.3. 266.4, 203.6, 201.6, very, very close. How'd we do on our swirl? Plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, plus, plus. Almost identical on a bunch of these. Okay, go through them both if you like. Let's uh, go do pluses and minuses on the intake port uh, with the manifold. Now, when we look at our, our swirl, we have to remember that the intake ports on the TPI come in on an angle like this, okay? So, a right and a left port are definitely going to have slightly different swirl values, but take a look at how close they came. Okay, this is number three through the intake manifold and throttle body this one. These were all slightly lower. These are all slightly lower. Look how close they are. 300. 185.2. 184.7. 600. 235.4, which is way better than we did with uh, the Performer RPM on the same head. Take a look at that video. That's a as a matter of fact, even number one beat, beat a performer RPM that was ported out with a 770 on it. Okay, 235.4, 235.2, very, very close, extremely close. How'd we do as far as swirl? These swirl numbers versus these swirl numbers. This one's got a little bit less swirl. It also comes in at a different angle for, for the port. Are they usable? Well. Right around 500, 600, 1700. That's my, about my minimum number for a swirl. Let's take a look at our uh, intake port air speeds before we put the manifold on. Okay, now we're going to take a look at these intake intake port speeds versus these intake port speeds. When I first look at it, these are more even, these are more even, these are more even, and not nearly as fast in the center. Is it worth a couple losses? It might be. It actually might be. In any case, I think they're going to run damn hard because you still got 266.4, 500. That's no joke. A lot of 215 CNC ported heads don't touch it. Don't touch that. Well, they should anyway. <sighs> okay, guys, let's take a look at our exhaust. So number three is a center exhaust. Number five is a center exhaust. They should be pretty close. Plus, 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 plus. This one's a little bit better everywhere. Is it much better? 600, we got 208.2, 209.9, 171.3, Okay, so let's take a look at our air speeds. This is what it was on three. This is what it was on five. Minus, plus, 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 minus, minus, plus, plus, minus. They don't really look that much better. This is better here, right? This is faster here. This is almost identical. This is a little faster in this corner. I know, boring as hell, right, guys? That's what I like to do. Okay, guys, we're going to go from five, which is a center cylinder, to seven, which is an outside cylinder. And all these pluses and minuses are in reference to this one. If somebody wants to go through and average all these, be my guest. Let us know in the comments. So how'd we do? 
plus 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 this so this <laughs> this which is uh, ah, I shouldn't even worry about it looks a little bit better everywhere it still taps out almost identical right 266.4 to uh, 270 okay 201.6 this one is really high 213.7 but it looks like it gives up on the short side at 600 a little bit harder it drops this one drops four this one drops six okay so I'm gonna say the airspeed on the short side on this one is going to be higher we'll, we'll notice that when we look at it remember guys the whole point of this TPI thing was to keep the port small and fast right we don't want the high-speed air from the intake slowing down a tremendous amount in the heads so a lot of effort was spent keeping those ports as tight as I could make them and still have plenty of flow even through the intake manifold now I have a mess here because I had a, a technical glitch but uh, I'll see if I can clean that up for you a little bit okay let's go number seven right our intake port did a little bit better really well at around 300 so I would imagine that this is going to do better through the intake manifold. Plus, it's all the way at the end of the plenum, so the air has plenty of time to straighten out and go around. Plus, plus, plus. This is 152.6. This is 182.6. This is 203.5. This is 220.2. Okay, and these you can actually read. We top out around 245, which is excellent definitely a little bit better than this port okay a huge amount no let's take a look 235.2 245 10 more than I would have expected okay now let's take a look at our swirl these swirl numbers here versus these swirl numbers here these are pluses and minus 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 plus minus minus plus 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 Coming right around where our lift is going to be. We have more than 1,700. We're good to go. Let's take a look at our intake port air speeds without the manifold. Okay, this is 5. That's our air speeds. This one did way better. And take a look, right? Much more active at the top of our pinch. Slower at the bottom. Not nearly as much action on the roof stupid fast on the short side but it does lose it it loses it after 500 I think it was around 560 or 5 580 it lost it on the short side okay let's take a look at our exhaust this is what we had on number five strong exhaust port had we do here? Well, we lost a little bit. We went from 209.9 to 208.5 at 300, 180 to 160. That's a huge difference. Now, one's a right, one's an outside port, one's an inside port. Don't expect them to be exactly the same. I bet this compares better to number one because that's an outside port as well. They are not shaped the same. You can equalize them as good as you can. But uh, remember, I think it's... I think this one has the hole in the back of the exhaust port. That makes a big difference. Let's take a look at that. All right, these are my my 007s I was comparing. Yeah. I was comparing how I developed these versus I developed the new 007s for the TPI, which is kind of terrifying is they're almost identical. I probably could have saved myself a ton of work just copying these, but I didn't do it that way because I like developing a port. But yeah, number five is so good because it does, it does gain some CFM because it has that hole in it. Okay, let's finish up this mess with our exhaust air speeds. Plus, minus, 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 plus, plus, minus, minus. Definitely doesn't look as good, right? Okay, but still, it tops out almost identical. 
All right, guys. So what did we learn? Well, all of them. All right. Take a look at these. Right. Two. Let's just take a look at 500. 244.4. 232.4 and 228. 228 is about what the RPM did. Okay? Now this is the closest. Let's take a look at the plenum and I'll show you why it's down. Okay, we've got our throttle body. I have a light stuck in there. That's number one. Take a look at how tight the turn is to number one. We lose flow that way. Everything else on this head has a longer path. Okay? Makes it easier to get into these. This one's our hardest one. And on the other side, our first, our first one is all the way back here. It's almost in the middle of the plenum. And our worst one is this end one. It actually has a turn, right? And the, the, the whole design is bent the wrong way. In any case, you guys can let me know if I did a horrendous job on this intake manifold cylinder head job. I'm sure the customer would love to hear your opinions. This is uh, hopefully going to get cleaned up and uh, sent away soon. Didn't get much time this weekend. In fact, I just got into the garage at 4 o'clock Sunday because that's the way life has been. In any case, thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to do the same thing on the other side with the other cylinder head. That would be interesting to see all of them. We could average them all together. And uh, we could have people tell me how, how far off they are. And then we can... Uh, and later date we'll do the same thing with a dual plane and we'll do the same thing with a single plane and we'll see how close those are especially an unported unported single plane or an unported dual plane you may not believe it all right guys thanks for hanging out have a good night